Studio Attraction. We're going to get things going away right now. It is Ultimo versus Fletch Malone, one-on-one. -on -one. Before the main card starts, Fletch Malone making a name for himself within the Illinois-Wisconsin region. Current holder of uh, Persephone, the goddess of the underworld. I guess when you have so many of that vape in your system, you start calling your championships different things. Uh, AHW champion of sorts uh, out of the uh, North Lake County region. And McHenry County isn't all that far from Lake County. So uh, apparently Fletch Malone wants to test his skills outside of his comfortable surroundings. And one of the upcoming stars of the scene, Ultimo, has an advantage with this behind the back hammer lock at the moment. Transitions. Tries to put him down in the corner. B.J. Porter has to step out of the corner to make sure the combatants don't interfere with the action taking place. Referee signals that the two combatants are right up against the ropes. Mandatory rope break, but it was not clean. Ultimo decided to be very forceful with his shot right there. Two individuals who are not necessarily your fan, typical fan favorites in Northland Pro Wrestling. But you never know, the fans might sort of decide and generate their particular favorite based upon things such as personality and skill level and skill set and otherwise. Fletch Malone showing a jewelry, leapfrog him over the top of Ultima on the run before going low on, a, on his opponent. Fletch Malone style. Mike Cater to his strengths. And his strengths are to be in your face, be confrontational, and a strike upon the opponent's at free will. And Ultimo not showing a lot of strike defense in the corner. He's just laying out there, hanging out there on one of the four corners of the ring. Ultimo showing some great balance with a handstand for a moment. Shoulders were on the turnbuckle and the top rope in particular. Dangerous position to be in. But that single motion was able to distract Fletch Malone for a moment. And that almost put away Malone in this match. Ultimo showing a bit of uh, signs that he can do more than just the traditional style of pro wrestling. Might have a background in Lucha Libre as well, as it seems as though Fletch Malone not ready for what's taking place. And Ultimo continues to want to abuse Fletch along the bottom rope. Ultimo draped out in primarily blue and green with white trim. Fletch Malone in almost entirely black with gold trim. Backdrop suplex. They both landed very hard on the mat, but Ultimo, the aggressor, and almost put him away right there. Review uh, action as part of Northland Professional Wrestling. Ultimo with the significant advantage at this juncture. It seems as though he did his homework. He's been practicing. He's been prepping himself. And Fletch Malone wanting to be the spoiler in this situation to ruin a potential huge debut for Ultimo in Northland Pro Wrestling right now. Fletch Malone taking a risk and he just ran in and missed everything. His shoulder connected with the middle turnbuckle pad. Ultimo holding the tights and that's it. Ultimo has won. right time, quick roll up, held the tights, that was it, Fletch Malone didn't know what hit him, and I think Fletch Malone's going to have a lot more to say and do here in Northland Pro Wrestling tonight. This might only just be the beginning for him in Northland Pro Wrestling. Something that is great. You see, we came 
all the way from our high-rise corporate offices downtown to come out to Institute, Hokey Dory, Hillbilly, Stick, I'm sorry, Stick. So tonight, I'm here to present to you Here's the thing. You want to run your mouth, right? Yes. You want to make fun of these people? Okay, you want competition? It's so easy. It's so easy. Shut up. That's why I teamed up with Levi McGuire. I know the importance of good representation. That's why I'm aligning my efforts with that of the association. Why am I here and who am I? I'm Eric Schultz and I am attorney at law. Hey, are you there? starts with this battle of tag team partners going up against one another. The bell has sounded. This should be a very spirited contest between two impressive cruiserweights of the ring. Warm embrace by these two. They have been partners on the same side a couple times before in Northland Pro Wrestling, but they could not advance past the opening round of the Northland Pro Tag Team Title Tournament. In tag team turmoil, they could not advance past their first round opponents. Maybe AJ Flyer is planning on stealing the show 
against his tag team partner, Casey Nova, the star kid. There's no doubt about it. Both of these individuals have tremendous agility, great quickness. Hold for hold, move for move. They can do incredible things inside of that ring. Casey Nova at the side headlock. This should could at any moment turn into a lightning quick. Incredible aerial onslaught. Flyer with the shoulder tackles. That knockdown could have dramatic effects on one of these two as the match goes on. Leapfrog into a side headlock. Nova trying to keep Flyer from flying and running around the ring. Smart move by Nova in the meanwhile. This tag team's had some ups and downs. This might be a battle of respect, but when you think about the competition level, everyone wants to prove themselves here to be a next breakout star. Now look at this, Casey Nova with that spin kick. He is known for flurries of kicks unlike anyone else in Northland Pro Wrestling today. What a journey by Flyer to get out of the corner. That was nothing short of spectacular. Picks up Nova, but Nova hits a beautiful spinning head scissors takeover. The self-proclaimed sexiest wrestler in the galaxy with great hair, according to his Instagram. Excellent foot speed, a factory of kick variations. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. That's Casey Nova. Can he get back in the winner's circle here tonight? Both of these individuals can hit combos with ease. The flyer wants to annihilate his opponent with flurries of kicks as well. If the moment takes place and the opportunity arises, going on for a number of leg lariats and super kicks and flurries of strikes. Not often do you see cruiserweights in the, a test of strength of this nature. The Flyers had tremendous success and exposure in the scene recently in singles and tag matches and in Lucha Libre. A thrilling, breathtaking eye flyer is AJ Flyer, a human highlight reel. Championship level competitor. And look at this. A triplet kick. There's the Enziguri. The three kicks of doom have landed, and Casey Nola might have been out for the count right there. He's very fortunate. He was able could have finished him right there. Flyer might take a chance and jump out of the ring at any moment. He's on the run. Watch out. Oh, my. A glancing attack. Flyer underestimated. But still, with a glancing blow. And both are down on the floor. Kevin Woods administering a count at the moment. Two. These two both want to be championship level competitors. Great high flying offense. But with Flyer on the floor at the moment, struggling to get up, will he be able to hit any of his swan times? Or remove soft body attacks or corkscrew body presses? It might not be likely if he took a lot out of himself by taking that crazy, insane risk. The blame game between these two might have just imploded. It might not be about respecting competition anymore. These two might have a heated situation that's about ready to implode as Nova's on the run. Oh my! Suicide dive right through the aisle. Flyer down, Nova on a knee. Two individuals who want to be very outspoken about their accomplishments, but until they beat the other, how will we decide who the better of this tag team really is? It's not about the trash talking, it's about the action that happens beyond that. This could be it. Oh, Flyer got the shoulder up in time. High risk sometimes leads to high rewards or a catastrophe. Slowly bringing Flyer to his feet. Flyer trying to fight from underneath. Using 
his leg strength, picked him up over his shoulders before ramming him into one of the four corners of the ring. Step up kick right there, a Gaman Gurry strike. Nova on the way up to the top. Oh why, how did Flyer do that? He must have left eight feet in the air in order to connect with that kick. Nova doesn't know what plan he's on. The flyer can hit a Rana of some sort or a Spanish fly. Casey Nova's lights will be knocked out right here. Oh my! Snapping Rana, both are down. That took all the air out of every fan in this building. Who got the worst of that? Flyer spinning, Nova around, also close. Now Flyer's questioning why he couldn't win the match right there. He didn't get enough of that leg scissors on the way down. Back of a battle, will for will. It's called heartbreakers for a reason. One of these two might not leave the same way they came in. Oh wow, nice combination. Spending hill kick on the ground. Oh wow. Very close, two and three quarters. You can sense Nova's getting much weaker ever since Flyer recovered from the suicide dive. Nova in position. Flyer might attempt a flipping attack here. Steady moonsault. He landed right on the ribs of Nova. Might have knocked the air out of him. The fans wanted Flyer to take advantage of the moment to try to win the match. But instead, Flyer opted to bring Nova back to his feet. He might regret that decision. Snap suplex. It's Flyer taking the show on the road. Running elbow drop in the middle of the ring. No, not at all. Nova showing a lot of heart and fire in this. The Flyer in the driver's seat. Noah's about ready to pass out right now. Flyer's never had a better opportunity to win than right now. But he might be gassed out himself. Both of these individuals have taken a lot out of one another in a brief period of time. Wow, what was that? Springboard moonsault attack. I believe it was the right foot of Flyer that glanced and hit Nova right in the back of the neck. Casey Nova sees Flyer is motionless, could have won the match, but instead wants to do something fancy right here. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. High flight, frog splash off the top. Oh wow. You would have thought that Flyer was done, but not even close. Very interesting opening attraction between tag team partners at Northland. Remember, La Sociedad Boricua, the tag champions, so they didn't feel like wrestling tonight. So that left the tag team out. High fly knee smash and Casey Nova folded all upside down in a gnarly way. And now Flyer says he's got another chance. The fighting spirit of Flyer might not have an equal. There's the up kick. He's got him cinched in. Trying to go for a death drop. No, oh, pushed up. Double cross body. They're both out. Now what? What? What the heck is this? What the heck is going on around here? The amazing turtle pointing from the middle head to. What the? He's not involved in this match. Get metal head out of there. Kevin Woods got scared and ran away. Flyer does not want anyone to interrupt this match. Oh, for heaven's sake! 
Wendy's or maybe ordering pizzas, who knows? Forget the super kick, Metalhead was ready. This is not necessary! Oh, for heaven's sake, stop it! The Metalhead is laying out both Flyer and Nova here! What's the turtle gonna do now? that hasn't left his mind yet. Bodies are laid out all over the place. Does this have anything to do over previous incidences involving chairs, matches, and otherwise? The metalhead has laid out both Flyer and Nova. I hope you're content with yourselves and to think this is only the beginning of the destruction they're inflicting. about yourself. Look at the mess we have here. We need a spatula to pick up these bodies. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, the official Kevin Woods threw the match out, declared it a no contest. There is no winner. However, these two gave it their all and more, and they deserve an applause. Let's hear one time for this week's tag team, Casey Nola and A.J. Northland, both deserve it, but no one won, and now there is a common evil that has presented itself in the Metalhead and the Amazing Turtle. between these two. What will happen when Doom Montgomery and Mario Pardue will meet at Northland Pro Wrestling tonight, one on one? Doom was a part of the tag tournament. Tag Team Turmoil won his first match, then was exited from the tournament. And Doom Montgomery, with that raincoat, before he uses potentially an axe, or some worse, to slice up and dice up his opponent into a bunch of little pieces so he can take off the raincoat and clean himself up real quickly after he makes a mess. This Dylan McGarry is a psychotic individual. He's got an MMA background with the credentials that would scare people in their shoes, in their boots. Devastating striker. Great MMA skill. And Mario cannot afford to give his back up to Doom Montgomery. Now Mario is making himself a tremendous success virtually everywhere he's gone lately in Lucha Libre and Pro Wrestling. Mario shrugs down Doom early. Mario, former fitness competitor, and now a top flight polished luchador as well. What he did at Cicero Stadium, jumping off the top rope onto multiple bodies, was one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen. And Mario can amaze in front of the masses, that's for sure. Left wrist lock applied, Doom trying to fight out of it. Doom reverses, and there's a, those are the kicks that put Doom on the mat. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, black belt in that, black belt in wide time. Going for the BTK choke. Bomb torturing and killing people left and right. Mario go behind into a hammerlock. Doom trying to find an escape. Trying to go up high with a bunch of elbows. Back and forth. Now it's Mario who's got to find an escape. Doom continues 
to show that he can go move for move with Mario. Mario showing great agility to nip up from off the mat on the back of his shoulder. Doom with the reversal. Mario keeps him tight. Quick elbow smash. And Doom's got to back off a little bit. Doom elevated to go at it alone. He wants to win and prove himself not in the tag ranks, but now the singles ranks of Northland Pro Wrestling. And for 2022, what a statement win it would be if Doom could beat Mario here tonight. If you can hit and pursue your opponent with great striking, you will impress very quickly. Running shoulder tackle, Quinn takedown, potentially the stronger Mario in this match. Mario is a muscled up tough guy, but Doom has excellent height and reach. So it is a very peculiar matchup. The striking of Lone of Doom is formidable enough to take down any polished fitness competitor, bodybuilder, or any other individual of any fighting style. Painful submissions. Mario's got to be careful. Mario with the fist, muscle fibers, quick power slam. Immediately, Quinn win everything. Doom also known for razor sharp knees, and there it ain't, there he goes, picking apart Mario along the left hand side of his body. And now Mario's back has been violated. The fans showing a lot of concern for their hero Mario right now. Doom's just slapping him around. Doom into the corner on the near side. Mario with a diving splash. But Doom's still standing. Oh no! Mario hurt himself. His whole chest might have collapsed on the top turbo. Oh, for heaven's sakes! Cyanol suplex on the back of his head. Mario's hurt. Oh my. The more damage you do to that head and neck, that's an open opportunity for Doom to strike. Crushing right hand. Epic struggles in the past with Mario against Cypher in Northland. Rico De La Vega as well. The popularity contest would belong to Mario, but when it, when it all rolls down to technique, there might be nothing like Doom Montgomery in Northland. This is an obstacle that Mario might not have an answer for. Mario barely throwing elbows to get out of that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Doom might have knocked his head off. And that's the intent. Doom's a brawler. He's just more determined and focused right now. Gotta face his fears, does Mario. This Doom is something that you cannot possibly prepare for. Well, Doom's showboating, that's not a good idea. You have the match in hand. This difficult challenge. Oh my, running knee right to the side of the head. Mario would love to hit the Mario end or the Mario elbow as one of the most electrifying performers in our Northland Pro Wrestling. Watch the show that he's the better fighter with more passion. The fans of all ages watch with front of that low drop kick intentionally to hurt Mario. There was nothing at all that was good about that. The technique on that was to intentionally hurt Mario Pardue. It was not to score a takedown. That is the blatant, dangerous nature of one Doom Montgomery in a Northland Pro ring. You can have all the heart and passion in the world, but if Doom is behind you the way that he is right now, driving his knee into your spine, you cannot respond. Fans of all ages 
love Mario. But at some point, the checks and balances cannot support the potential downfall of their favorite athlete. Beautiful step of Ben Zaguri, but both are down. Who's going to get up first at Northway and Pro tonight? Here. Mario nipped up to his feet. He's alive. Mario's got his feet out from underneath him. Couple of close lines. Can Mario continue the momentum swing back in his favor? There's another high fly close line. Quarters in position. And a two count day. He's got to keep the aggressive nature on. He's got to put the pressure on. But Doom standing is dangerous again with those kicks. Doom shows no fear and is just straightforward and very diligent about the way he feels. My goodness! Mario! The beautiful! Some more drop of sorts. But Doom got the shoulder up in time. Look how quickly Doom just shot to his feet. This guy's like a zombie on two legs. Drop toe hold, Mario in pain. This could be a problem. The ankle lock is cinched in. Mario's too far away from the ropes. He might have to give this up. The fans don't want to see him surrender. But Doom, the smarter of the two at this juncture, has Mario in a position of danger with no way to fight out of it. Try to go for a counter, try to reach for the ankle, could not snatch it in time. And Doom again, goes low on Mario. Oh boy, step over toe takedown, the close line. Oh, that was a judgment call, two and nine tenths. A lenient count by the official gives Mario another chance, but how much of a chance does Mario have left? Doom was preparing to lock Mario into the crowd. Oh, nice counter. Float over, DDT. Nope, Doom easily gets the shoulder up. Doom again. Takes pride of being the first one up on his feet every time he falls onto the mat. That's got to be frustrating for Mario. Without a definitive way to put away this opponent. There it is! BTK choke! Bob torture kill! Mario's going to pass out! This could get graphic! Northland Pro's Heartbreakers put in a very negative and important fashion. He's gonna collapse, he's gonna pass out. He barely got his arms draped over the top rope in time. Doom thought he had it won right there. I do not think Mario tapped. Mario did not pass out. Quick roll up! Nope. Doom, with the leg strength to keep himself afloat. Out of nowhere! He did it! Mario Pardua is the winner at Thorsland! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Mario Pardua! He doesn't look like a winner, but Mario absorbed the best of Doom and Gummery and found a way to win at the end! It's Mario who stole the win away from Doom. When you least expect it. Go Mario, go! Will 2022 be Mario's year at Northland? Sportsman 
pirate ship after that. Brawler with no off 
switch, and that is right behind the official, and Turtle doing more damage to the neck and the head of Moondog. Crushing clothesline, and the Moondog's hurt. Notorious for squeezing the life out of his opponents. Using steel chairs and rods, masks, and chains to obliterate the opposition. So many weapons at his disposal. And the Moon Dog might have no choice but to pass off from the paint or give up. Been a thorn in TJ Steele's side for the past several events, and now it's going after everybody else. The Moon Dog did deserve that. The Turtle just assaulted him with a baseball bat. A solid steel bat right to the abdomen and the back. No one check his head before the match. Metalhead's got a solid steel helmet on it. What the heck is it? Is that guy even human? Who wears something like that? The crowd was so amped when the Moon Dog attacked Metalhead with slams, but now there's silence, and this is a problem because Metalhead is in full control. There's the bear hug. This could be the single of the end. Will Moon Dog Murray fade? at all. Moondog Murray will freak you out in a good way, I think. He's so totally unpredictable. He'll eat and chew and nibble and he might ravage his opponents if he gets a chance. Moondog's not out of it yet. Still trying to fight on. Barking across the entire BFW post. out into the corner there's an elbow smash they pick up the side slam the moon dog might be seconds away from polishing off the metal head in what many could consider to be a monumental upset sidewalk slam one of his signature moves. But the metalhead again gets up every time. There's another sidewalk slam. This might be it. Why did he stop counting? Come on, come on. He had it one right there. The turtle on the apron as a distraction. should be a disqualification. Oh, for heaven's sakes. A steel spike and that could be it. Metalhead is what The crowd can't stand it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Metalhead. Using the steel rod as a weapon. Let's go!
Rivers to that drop. It's fine. It's great. What a come on. These Northland fans know that what Metalhead did tonight is a tragedy. Everything he just did was wrong. Cheating to win. Ruining the fans' fun. Interrupting matches. Being a pain in the behind. Hey. Hey, Hey.
against fat and grunts. Excuse me. Flat versus young. No, I'm not. And then you can handle this. Let's mess with us. You think you can handle this. Just don't mess this up. You'll die for the grunt. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the clinch, Gonzo. Well, this should be an epic tag team showdown. But we do have some different slight changes on course in this particular tag team struggle. Alpha Zeta Zeta tonight will be represented by the Council Hans Carden and a pledge Gonzo, Michael Gonzalez, the president of the whole team. This lost an ounce. But look who we got right here, the fake god Fletch Malone. What, what, what are you doing here? I thought you were the DJ tonight. You're wrestling in matches, and now you got a championship. Can you explain to me why you're here at Northland Pro Wrestling? Ladies and gentlemen, Steve, it is, it is truly a pleasure to bless all these presents with my presence. Well, I'm glad you didn't call me livestock. Oh, no, like, no, but you are a peasant. You're in the presence of a, a, of a deer. That's just how it works. You're a peasant. But there's nothing. You're a deity now? How did there, that happen? I am the vape god. Yes. I am the deity of all things. Well, let me if I'm wrong. You didn't win the preview match, did you? You know what? He cheated. He cheated. He pulled the tight. You, you, did, you don't cheat sometimes? Hey, not in matches. What do you think of this match of Hans Karin and Mateo Valentine? I hear you got something going with Mateo. Uh, I, I do, and I, I want to say that uh, I don't know about the pledge. I've never seen the pledge wrestle before. I don't know where this guy came from. He, what's he got on? I don't know, but... MMA shorts I, with a... I don't like Mateo's whole, like, booty grinding. I don't know. Like, it's 2022. I don't judge him. That's an exotico. He's, but, but he's one of the biggest on. fan favorites in all of Northland. He's a breakout star everywhere. Yeah, and you know what happened last month at All Heel Wrestling? He bounced and got in the middle of the ring. Did you ever experience your head being stuffed like a cabbage right across the razor board? Boy, Mateo almost put away Hans Carter. You're a champion now? How did you become a champion? I am an All Heel Wrestling Change of Fortune champion. I beat Oso Jocko in the first ever match at All Heel Wrestling to become the first ever victor and the first ever champion. Uh, also, Turco's a big deal uh, in pro wrestling and Lucha Libre. Speaking of Oso Turco. You're being a Puerto Rican powerhouse and I'm impressed. Oh yeah. Oh, being three, one, two, three in the middle of the ring after he Now, if you've been following Glamour and Yomi, they have been at odds lately. They, they are frenemies. They what does it, what does it mean? Yeah, that they, they came to I give you some credit. I got all the letters just in the wrong order. A dead bot Demi God against Gonzo. What do you think's gonna happen here? I don't know. He's, he's a Demi God. I have to be on his side. You like him? I, I have to. You don't like Mateo, but you like Joe. He's he's probably the son of someone on the council of gods that I'm close to. Oh, for heaven's sakes! They just spiked him on the man. All right. Now I don't like Mateo, but that was impressive. That was, I'll give him that. That was impressive. What do you think of uh, Joey Mayberry's signature move, the Bussy Buster? That's a very devastating move. I don't know. I'm going to have to see it. It'll rip up your bottom and everything in between. I'm, I, that terrifies the living daylights out of me. It did. And Gonzo was scared, too. Gonzo was freaked out. The pledge is not going to earn his way into the fraternity if he's going to chicken his way out of this man. This is nothing compared to the hazing that I've heard happens in Alpha Day to Day. Absolutely not. What I, I don't know what, what the bussy is. That's, I don't that's, know. that's Joey's move, what not Mateo. Oh. oh no! Mateo's beautiful face has been wrecked by Hans. That was ingenious. This I have German, but respect for that. This German individual is fighting with his great genetics and overall brute strength. Let's 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 be careful with the great genetics comments. Look, we got semi-pro football athletes. 
though. It's, 20, it's 2022 though, and you said German and the Virgin. Oh! Those two words can't go together, brother. Right, we don't want to get canceled. We got brawlers, we got artists, we got individuals that take care of business inside of this ring. And Fletch Malone, apparently, you're part of the formula here, are you not? I, I'm trying to be part of the solution. You want to talk about your new pre precious godlike structure here, the preeminent? What do you call it? Oh, you mean Persephone? Yeah, Persephone. Persephone, my baby. Day 76 with her. Best relationship I've ever been in in my life. This lady was. I didn't have a leave. relationship with an inanimate object. I didn't say sexual relationship. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Yeah, don't get your mind out of the gutter. I just said relationship. I see what you're saying. Well, I have a feeling we're not going to see any uh, parades anytime soon. Oh. Because tonight, Mateo Valentine has played. By his lonesome with Gonzo and Hans, aka Hanzo. Yeah, Nick. yeah. What did you make out of Gonzo sneaking into the ring and literally tap dancing before dropping some fists upon the head I of thought, poor Mateo Valentine? I thought it started off brilliant and then he wasted time by tap dancing, just get to the point and drop the elbow. He could have dropped an extra elbow for all the time that he spent tap dancing. Is that what your vape is telling you too? I hear those things talk as well. No, not this one. I have another one at home that talks. Mateo Valentine, whether you like or dislike him, or them, they, I got, my pronouns, my pronouns, pal. I believe, I believe. Yes, queen! are him, me. But no, no, not Mateo! Oh, God, he might see a back. burning hammer in the second half. The torture act has been applied. Break him in half. Weaken him up for me. Don't let him make it to me first. Oh, he's able to make the tag. Mayberry's oh. alive. Look at the shiny sequence on Mayberry. He's so shiny. Ready to party it up and really deliver pain and brutal punishment. I'm to Alpha Zeta Zeta. not anything but his shiny. The double team offense oh, of these two is incredible. That, 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 that. Oh, oh, look at that! Austin Adams saved Hans Carter from oh. potential catastrophe. And, and the referee let this slide. Red right, suplex, and it. poor Mayberry might have had all the air knocked out of the gun gun slam. Oh, kicked out at two point six seven eight nine five. Watch Malone. Can the you believe? God God he has his okay, Vape God, can you believe what we're watching here? I, Months that have not once defended the titles. Well, not uh, once. I mean, have they been contractually obligated to? They're not here tonight. They said there's no competition. They beat 69 other teams to get here okay. and to win the tag title. How many other teams? 69, they nice. said. Nice. And they said, well, we might come back in March. We might have a, some free time in April. We'll defend the titles thing. Why are they waiting? I mean, Why aren't they in this match now? They're, they're very busy. If you're gonna win tag team titles, if you bring the belt, you should defend the belt, right? You're a champion. Say it, say it out loud. Why did you defend it earlier? Because I wasn't hate. You're a liar. You could have had the chance tonight. You could have been a stand-up individual. You could have been a defending champion. But instead, you want to parade around with the title only when you feel like it. Does that the slip story? Is Mateo no. ever gonna see the light of day? Mateo never sees the light of day, and I defend my championship, I defend Persephone, when I am compensated 
unnecessary. Oz was going to win it all right then. He could have. I don't, I don't think the dad bod Diddy guy would have given up that easily, though. Who the heck hired Gonzo? Oh, my. He that was the most hired. impressive moves I've seen Gonzo execute in this whole match. Over the shoulder. very impressive Olympic style smirk. Well, if the tail didn't break that up, this would have been over for sure. It would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19. The Gonzo slam. Very excellent. And over the shoulder. Oh, he got the shoulder up. How is this man still going on? How is he going to mess with chickens now? No way. How is he going to mess with chickens? Mess Peggy and Kermit the Frog. They will never see the light of day as long as Gonzo's in his hand. Gonzo makes the tag. And it's got a body. We got to make the tag with tails. And I hate that guy. And he's in. He's just sweating. That was an impressive flying back elbow. The tail's on another level. Oh, he's a beast. There's the vibe check. Get with the program! Feel Wait, the God! Sensation. Feel the sensation! You wanna feel the Oh, I see that move! They might have a boy down! Oh, oh God, so. What timing? Two and eleven twelves! This isn't over yet! I can't believe it either, Persephone! Yeah, Holy who crap! Who are you talking to? Persephone! I've never heard of Persephone before. Persephone's right here! You have a title? Oh, yes, you do. You have a title. Yes, her name is Persephone! He tripped him! That was illegal! That was unnecessary! Bayberry dropping, Austin Adams outside, Gonzo and Hans, the way up. Oh wow. The last second. Two and 11, 12, BJ Porter has lost all control of this tag match. He's out of hand. Oh, oh that was nice, a little double spin back there. Double spin. How are you going to join Alpha Santa Santa if you can't even figure out how the rules are working operate? Well, BJ's not pledging. Apparently not. Gonzo left alone. Oh, Mateo in the face of Mateo's back. These two have not he gone along that. lately. But look at this. Together is one. Oh. Through the trouble, he's still able to work together. A fake Mateo double team. And that's it. Mateo. Joey Mayberry have won it. Thanks for joining us. He better enjoy that while it lasts. Karn's like a man possessed. You can't imagine what these two do. Well, when they're not in a wrestling ring on weekends, they must be torturing pledges all over town. What a miserable crew these guys belong to. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently Gonzo did not satisfy the requirements.
such a bad guy. Let's hear one more time for Gonzo. with Levi LaGuire to do battle against superstar Steve Bonds at Northland Pro Wrestling tonight. Very loud and outspoken tonight, Adam Stallion with Levi LaGuire. chips at the fans, those are kind of expensive. Levi has a plan to put the association to work. Collar elbow tile. And a BLZ put down Adam Stallion quickly. Boz has the Height advantage, the weight advantage, the power edge, the experience advantage as well. But Stallion might be one of the best technical, well-skilled warriors in all of Northland Pro Wrestling. So Boz will indeed be tested. And Boz again lifts and hurls. Stallion to the man. Boz with recent victories. Singles action against Eric Schultz and Acid Jazz. That was a classic in this building last year. Here at Northland. One of the most successful and respected stars in the Chicago scene for an entire generation. Boz, the Signed superstar, one of Chicagoland's top pro wrestling trainers. His dedication to diet and conditioning, being a top notch trainer, that's earned him numerous awards, and he continues to keep business going and very healthy in the Chicago pro wrestling scene. Nice spinning head scissors. Stallion swings and misses. Big leg, Larry, and Stallion ran right into that mess. Levi LaGuire doesn't know what to do. He motivated this young man to try to beat an, a, a bear tonight, and it's not working. Stallion has not done anything to Boz yet. Boz is just going to slap Stallion around all over the place. Levi backing off. Get out of the arm's way. I don't blame him. The fans getting very up close and personal with Adam Stallion, apparently. Boz is violent. As Adam Stallion's head bounced off the edge of the bar. We got a fight down here, right by the beverage station. Boss had to have a sip of his favorite beverage before inflicting more damage. Right now, Stallion is just target practice for the BLZ. And that's a head full of a lot of cheer right among the first row fans. Kevin Woods letting the action go. Levi trying to hold the show up early. Side headlock takeover, Boss in control on the mat. But for how long? This 
this matchup. Very welcomed. And although Levi Laguire tried to trip Boz as he was traversing the ropes, Boz was able to use his quickness to continue to stay in motion. To land the takedown and the force stallion back onto the mat. Steve Boz always looks to steal the show. The potential is there for Adam Stallion, but tonight might not be his night. Stallion followed in, missed everything. And one more time, this time Levi was successful in grabbing an ankle and Stallion going after the left leg and knee of the BOZ as well as that ankle right there. Stallion repeatedly doing damage to that left limb. And it's not a secret, Boz has had some very bad knee problems in recent years in pro wrestling. As a matter of fact, he's had some life-altering surgeries and there was some talk within the circuit that Boz would never be back. And it's a sheer miracle that Boz is still wrestling to this day. Stallion would love to be the one individual who retired BOZ. Stallion keeping it very simple, but very deliberate. What's Levi doing? Come on! That's a grown man pounding on the inside thigh. And maybe the cartilage and the ligaments of poor BOZ right there. Very sad circumstances. Levi Laguire, the agent, the sports agent of the stars, pro wrestling manager making it very difficult at this point. Stallion's got the crab applied. The BOZ might indeed have to give this up. Stallion needs a snack. Why does he need a snack? This is downright embarrassing. Stallion is throwing food into the crowd. It's a very expensive snack. Backslide for the BLC. And then the run out. Boz trying to continue to fight on despite his damage left leg. Stallion reverses Boz into the far corner. Of Steve Bond. Stallion on a winning streak as of late. Continues to find ways to win his victory on Jake Painter. Very controversial. Match was restarted. As a matter of fact, the same official for that match, Kevin Woods, has been assigned to this one as well. What a million dollar knee lift that one. Laid out flat, taking a chance. Man, it almost was like Boz was sunbathing in the ring. Stallion trying to have a conference with the official, but he did not win it right there. Talk about raising eyebrows and winning matches in controversial fashion. That's what Adam Stallion's all about. He's made a lot of people very mad. And now he's got Levi McGuire here to do additional damage. And there he goes again. Levi wrapping the left knee around the ring post on the air side. Totally illegal. This is not a no disqualification man. Not at all. Stallion's got a very 
technical skill set. Floating about his body, his lifestyle, his talents, and his abilities. Very innovative style. Combinations on takedowns. Stallion's the real deal. Speed and agility as well. He tried for an eight drop, but he might have just crushed his own patella tendon right there. Boz rolled out of the way. Stallions bent and broken rules to win before, but this might be his toughest test tonight. This challenge right here at Northland. Boz opening the hand. tonight might lead otherwise. Maybe Boz is on his final lap of his tour of Northland. Backbreaker, the flatliner, that's his tandem combination that he's used to wipe out multiple opponents. Wow, oh, Boz barely got the shoulder up in time. I think the fans are getting everything. Their money's worth and more with this clan. Stallion nifty outside to inside, but Boz on a counter. Tornado DDT out to the point of his hand. He might have crippled the man. Not enough. Two count again. Is he on Boz's level? Not at this moment. The casual killer is about to have his dream shattered by the BOZ here tonight. No super kick. Stallion got out of the way. Boz went the wrong direction. Wow, what a crushing lariat that was. Boz on his back. And again. Enough. This match must continue. Northland Pro Wrestling's Heartbreakers were at the VFW Post Saturday night, February 5th. Well, over 100 fans are watching the action break down. Buzz on his knee. Stallion rushes in. Messes with the equilibrium. Going right to the left ear of the BOZ. Stallion throws Boz into the corner. Stallion ran in, but Boz lifted him over the top. Springboard drop kick on the money. Down goes Stallion. Levi checking on the falling on the near side. And do so. Rolling cutter from the outside to the inside. What a nimble, quick alert move. Boss with no defense at all. Oh my. Left leg draped on the bottom rope for the rope break at the very last second. No way. No way. No way. No way. Got an argument breaking down. Levi's got to keep this man's head straight. Stallion does not want to lose this opportunity. What the heck is Levi doing? Sports agent, 
He's mad at Tristan! Support kick! Uh-oh! Buzz! Screwdriver! Pile driver! He dropped him on his head! You can count to a hundred! Buzz wins again! Boss with the super kick. Boss with the pile driver. TJ Steele with the beverage in hand. Boss is time. The party is now at Woodstock.
was just here watching, and now he's in the thick of things in this impromptu clash. And any Astro has something to prove tonight. El Mero Mero. Both of these individuals with football backgrounds. Very explosive. And TJ Steele. so physically strong. Vinny Estro, basically a power lifter. At 185, this guy can lift two, three times his body weight in multiple different lifts. Excellent matchup on paper, this should be. The experience advantage goes to TJ Steele. But Vinny Estro's been in the thick of things for darn near six years plus. Singles records for both very impressive against the toughest of competition. TJ Steele has a very physical powerhouse style. Great accurate striker as well. Big wins in recent months. Building momentum as one of Northland Pro Wrestling's most epic and successful fighters. But any Estra wants to knock him down off of his throne. That might happen as soon as tonight. Wasting time. Trying to go for the guillotine drop, but it got blocked. Another block. One's on the edge of sanity. The other just got jammed in the eye, I think. What a crushing springboard cross body press. And TJ almost passed out. And there's the aggressive nature of any extra right now. TJ still wants to kick some heads off and crush any extra in the process, but that's not going to be so easy. Any extra the top Latino ring star of maybe this whole era right now. A reputation in this region for being explosive. No nonsense. Point A to B logic in the ring. And there's the sleeper hole. And Astro is going to try to put TJ Steele, the muscle up superhero, to sleep. Would this be a tremendous moment for the Astro if he could stop TJ Steele at Northland tonight? So physically tough and durable is any Astro. Excellent movement around the ring. Power lifting and training. The next wave of pro wrestling might be going through in Astro here tonight. TJ uses his leg strength to propel an Astro in the air and back them into the corner on the far side. But an Astro really kicked all the teeth down the throat of TJ Steele. Vinny Astro keeping the action very lively, at times a very kamikaze type style in the ring. TJ Steele accepted this challenge. Oh my, Spinebuster! Vinny Astro, not wiped out yet. If you're going to dominate in all facets of the pro wrestling ring, you got to be good at everything. And these two are good at everything. Nice flying splash in the corner by Steele. Then Astro walks into disaster, possibly. What a power! What a counter! He press slammed the attempt, was denied. The backstabber instead. Or why was that close? That was 
just one of his signature moves, and TJ Steele still powered out of it. But it is so early in this one. Lenny Astro, Sunset Flip. Look at Steele trying to deadlift in the Astro into the air. P.J. Porter said it's not over yet. T.J. says it's time to go to take a nap with a running knee. But it has to hold out of the ring. What a smart move by Almero Mero. about to lose. Next time? Next time? Really? He left. He doesn't want to fight anymore. TJ Steele is not going to accept that as a possible alternative. He's going to go by Porter, but the match continues. Controversial call right there. Watch this. TJ, TKO neck breaker. Just when you thought that Eddie Astro was getting a count and out, he gets his lights knocked out. This could be it. How did he survive that? Hardly anyone's ever kicked out of the running knee of TJ Steele before. The crowd is in, sh in shock. That was a very low blow, deliberately in front of the official. That's it. Porter has decided to throw this match down the toilet. And Astra has apparently been disqualified for the blatant low blow. How about that? I lost one out of it. of a disqualification, T.J. Steele! That's not the way Steele wanted to win! Any extra tried to sneak out of this match, almost got T.J. counted out, and now T.J. Steele has to accept the fact that any extra hit a low blow and ran away. I want the other, the other fan out here right now. Might not have to wait long, Nate Pebble, the owner of Northland is here. We got a March show. We got a show in March right here. Give me that sawed off piece of trash. Yeah? Me and him? All right. Y'all come back here next month. Watch me beat the shit out of that piece of trash. TJ Steele says there will be one more round. Nate Pebble, will he get the ink to paper to make it official? James 
face with a difficult task to shut up this attorney once and for all. That will not be easy. This attorney is so smart, so crafty, and he has nothing to lose here. A very hard collar and elbow tie. Tony James gets bigger every time I see him. 6'5", 280 pounds. This guy just continues to grow bigger and stronger by the day. A towering, massive man. And that's why these fans love him so much. Legions of fans here to support their hometown hero, who is performing a clinic of damage to the left arm and wrist of poor Eric Schultz at the moment. Just look at the face on Schultz, and just look at how much pain is all across his face. And Cody James just uses his shoulder as a battering ram to repeatedly put Schultz down on the mat over and over again. Give Schultz credit for executing that hammer lock. They're now really trying to wrench all the pressure on the head and neck of Cody James. Levi LaGuire had his lights knocked silly by BOZ Steve Boss earlier. Big shoulder tackle. Cody James levels Eric Schultz as he rolls the outside. Dedicating himself, Cody James, to getting better in the ring, training harder, adding more mass, branching out to pro wrestling. What the heck is Cody got plans on doing here? Watch out! Oh my god! Why Torpedo? Missile launching body attack by Tony outside. Down goes the association. How often do you see a 280 pound missile like that? That was amazing. He got incredible hang time right there. with a cheap shot in the aisle. And now it's Cody tasting the canvas all on one side of the ring. Did Schultz just experience an Andy Grundy or what? What was that? Cody bent over in pain on the far side. Schultz still trying to recover. Levi on a knee. Both knees as a matter of fact.
truth for this phrase. Put on pause. 
everybody. But maybe Schultz knows more about Cody than Cody himself. again. Not enough damage has been done. Big power slam. Did he get enough of it? No. Two count again. Dangerous drop. But it was Cody on top. Schultz has absorbed a lot of punishment. And Cody says this is his time to crush Schultz from the inside out. You gotta get back to basics, Cody. You gotta hit him as hard as you can and go for the knockout when you have the chance. Big pickup! His leg gave out again! What a shot block by Schultz! We thought Cody would be able to endure and outlast Schultz, but that is clearly not the case now. You've got to say to yourself that Cody's chances, the longer this match goes, will get less and less as he gets weaker and weaker. Case close, Carter pushed over. There's the spear. Did Cody get enough of it? No, no, not again. Schultz escapes a fatality. This match must go on. It's the main event. Northland Pro Wrestling's Heartbreakers. The association represented by the sports agent and Eric Schultz against the hometown hero, everyone's favorite, the leader in the community, and more, Cody James. Levi's on the apron again. Cody, let's go. Schultz has the briefcase.